Hello folks, Silver Stacking Pro here, and guess what? Back with another video, and we're gonna, we're gonna test if this is silver. Now, I'm told that this was silver. We got it at a, vet, uh, my parents got it at a wedding, and um, it looks silver, but it doesn't have, given that it is kind of uh, actually not from here, it's from India. Uh, they don't really have any markings on it except for this, and some writing, which is... Um, yeah, so not really any marking. So I tested the rounds I thought were fake with this, but we'll have to get some silver test acid out and let's be back with it. Now, first off, let's just try like a magnet test. And the issue is, um, and you can always feel when something is uh silver because it's by bi bimetallic, it kind of feels like partially is push pulling it, but then it won't stick. Now the only issue with that is, and what I'm realizing right now is, that the the, the magnet is can't really detect because it's so thin. Um, it's been made pretty thin, so it's been made pretty thin, so it's hard to tell if it's silver or not just by using a magnet. So we'll have to go to test acid. Now over here we've got some silver test acid, and trust you guys, you do not want to get this on your finger. I'm gonna be keeping clear of it. Unlike what I did the last couple of times, what does it first turn just in whitish? You know, got some white stuff on, and then the next day when I when I woke up it was like um blue, so I was like whoa that's weird. I didn't know it was from my silver test acid, and then by the time it was like third period in our school, it was black and it stayed black for a couple of days. It happened quite a couple, a couple of times, so you know I want to be kind of careful next uh, next time I try. So um. As I've read when doing a test, focus on in a place that won't be seen by uh, by people when they use it. So the back is a perfect place. Um, people are going to be using the glass, putting it on the on the uh, table. So uh, we'll see. Oh my God, I got some in my my hand. Um, I'll be back, guys. Okay, got some in my hand, but you got you guess what? You guys came here to see something, you didn't come here to see nothing. So let's go ahead and try. So we got some of this acid which is opened up. And it would turn milky white if it was silver. If it wasn't, then we'd see a reaction. If it was nickel, we'd see uh, blue. If it was copper, the it would just be utterly destroyed. Uh, I know from experience. So let's go ahead check how the reaction is going so um what i want to do is i'm going to wipe this as soon as it gets you know five six minutes and we'll see what it is based on how it um how it how it comes off something tells me this is silver guys Something. I think it's the not bubbling. Let's go ahead and uh, wipe it off and see, huh? So let's go ahead and check. I don't want to get this dirty. So on the top, it does look silver. It actually does. Um, there. It's not blue. So we get you a better angle of it. It's uh whitish. So um uh, that's silver guys. That is. Now let's go ahead and check what happens to uh United States coins which we definitely know is not silver when we test it. Okay ladies and gentlemen, let's test. Now I actually think I uh tested this side. So uh let's go back. I took ten minutes searching for a nickel. Being the idiot that I am I put all small coinage downstairs in this change jar. Uh, anyway, so this has gone horribly wrong so far. It's gone on my fingers, and I should have used gloves, but uh, fortunately I used all of them last week. So let's go ahead and check this nickel. Unfortunately, it doesn't really have all nickel, so you won't see as strong a reaction. Um, penny, which is zinc, so we're going to test for zinc. And this guy, which is like m copper. Which is, uh, 
order. So let's go ahead, put this to the side, see how it reacts, and god damn it, I got it on my finger. Okay. I'm gonna have a black I'm gonna have black fingers. Like I'm talking about like the scary like um it's gonna be like uh not even peeling, it's gonna be like pretty yucky. So immediately you see that I guess all these coins of nickel, um some amount. And uh copper destroys gets destroyed and zinc has a similar reaction to nickel, I believe. So um immediately you see that this isn't happening anything like a silver reaction. Um the silver reaction turned red and stayed red and then um it when we took it off we saw that it was white which you can just see now, you can barely see it. It's just some type of white. So, um, I'm going to wait for it to, and I'm going to wipe it off and we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, so I read, um, if you see no reaction, then that's, that's silver. Now, over here, we immediately saw a reaction, and it doesn't really matter if the color it turns, um, after. It, it doesn't stain the coin, but... When the color does, uh, when you uh, drop it on the coin, the color it becomes. That's what de determines what it is. So if it has no reaction, um, and when you wipe it away, it's white, then it's silver. If it does have a reaction, like it turns a different color, uh, the the liquid, then it it indeed is um, not silver. So let's look at what happened to each of the coins, nickel, and men. I'll show you what I got on my finger. So on one of these fingers, I got like a. You know, I got, I got some on, and that was pretty bad, but, um, for the sake of, uh, teaching guys, so. So, over here, we have the penny, which totally got defaced. You can see that, uh, the quarter turned blue, but then it, you know, it kind of, uh, wiped off. Okay, and this nickel turned really white, like, not like that white turned really white. So, thanks for watching, guys. You guys know what happened. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.